Hey, what's up 2K culture? It's your boy, Indy 2K, in the house and the place to be. And today, as we're entering week six, the final week of season six, which in my opinion was the worst season in NBA 2K My Team history. This season sucked ass. But I've only been around for three seasons, so. But I think season six was by far the worst and I think it sucked ass. I think the rewards in every mode sucked I didn't like many of them, or they were just garbage ass players. I thought the Hall of Fame pass was just decent. The only thing good about it this year was just SGA. The Ascension board was just trash. And um, a lot of these Galaxy Opals they make you lock into for this equal chance plus pack are pretty much trash. This is one of the better drops. I'm going to lock in for a bit as I do every week. In hopes to get 100 Yao Ming, which I doubt I'm going to get 100 overall Yao Ming. But besides that, the other Dark Matters in this set are pretty attractive. I do, I really do want to get Dr. J. I guess I wouldn't mind getting Kawhi Leonard or Chris Bosh. And even though I'm not a big Ben Simmons fan, and I feel like he's kind of a made-up player with just souped-up stats, I'll take him, I'll run him for a while, I'll, I'll cheese out with him because he is a six foot ten point guard. And you gotta, anytime you get your hands on a six foot 10 point guard that can drive to the basket the way he does, you're gonna have to take advantage of that and use them and put it in your lineup, even though it's somebody that you might not wanna run with. Okay, now before we open this Stratosphere Equal Chance Plus Pack, whatever the fuck they call it, let's take a look at some of these Galaxy Opals that they have here today. So they got Artis Gilmore, who I hear nothing but good things about. They got Gary Payton. Jonathan Kaminga. I barely know who Jonathan Kaminga is. And then Reggie Theus. And Thompson. And I already got him. I, I forgot where I got him. I want to say from like a spotlight challenge. I might have completed the challenge and got him out of that. Because I definitely didn't buy him. Oh, and then of course Kyle Culver, who... I would say Kyle Culver, Artis Gilmore, Gary Payton, those are three very good players that should make anyone's roster and anyone's either bench or starting lineup. I think those are three really good cards. I hear that Kyle Culver is looking nasty, like they actually improved the defense on that card. And um, I hear he's looking pretty good. And anytime I match up against that Gary Payton, he's always locking up my point guard. And that Artis Gilmore, he gives any of my centers a hard time, including Wemby. And I've got from Wemby to Wilk Chamberlain, and he gives any of them a hard time. So I think this is a pretty good set to lock into. I think it's definitely worth it. And if by any stroke of luck you happen to get Yao Ming in the lock-in, then you are truly blessed. But um, I'm just hoping, like I said, to get either Dr. J, Kawhi Leonard, Chris Bosh, or Ben Simmons. The only card I don't want is the troll card, which is Tyler Hero. And knowing my fucking luck... I feel like it almost happens every week now. I'm gonna get the shittiest card out of the pack, and it's gonna be, and it's gonna end up to be Tyler Hero, knowing my luck. So I'm gonna go make this purchase, and I'm gonna lock in for the set. And okay, and I hate the feelings that 2K give you—the sort of emotions that run <laughs> through your head, you know, when you make a purchase. It's like you fucking hate 2K, and you love them at the same time, and you're excited and you're nervous, but you're also pissed off because you just blew a ton of money at the same time, and it's really hard to explain the relationship that 2K has with their fan base because it is god awful and it should not be like this. It should not make you feel like you're gonna be on a roller coaster and have a heart attack. But that's 2K for you. Okay, guys, I'm over here and I'm about to lock in this set. And I have to admit, I'm extremely nervous. The last thing that I wanted to be is. Tyler Hero. I just don't want to end up with Tyler Hero. So please, 2K, don't let it be Tyler Hero. It could be anyone else. I'll even run Ben Simmons at, at the PG3. He'll be my backup to um SGA, Clyde Drexler. He, he could be my, my PG3. I just don't want Tyler Hero. And um, also, please don't let it be a duplicate. The last thing I need is a Fucking duplicate. I swear if it's a duplicate, it'll be the biggest waste of money ever. I swear if it ends up to be a duplicate Chris Webber, I'm just going to fucking end up slamming this camera down and just head out the door and go back to work so I can recuperate the money that I just ended up losing. That's how much of a fucking regret 
That's how upset I'm gonna be, and that's how much I'm gonna regret the fucking transaction. So please, please, no duplicate and no Tyler Hero. Okay, guys, let's hope for the best, and please, guys, click like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and wish me the best of luck. Okay, guys, there goes that pack. The Stratosphere Plus pack that guarantees an unsellable dark matter. They should at least make it fucking sellable if you don't like it. Like, if you don't want the card, they shouldn't force you to have to keep the card. But let's open this pack for this, you know, unsellable dark matter and hope for the best. Okay. Here we go, guys. My heart starts to race and pound. Yep, there goes my heart pounding and racing like crazy. And my blood pressure going through the roof. Look at that beautiful, beautiful glow. Look at that sparkle. Oh my gosh, I could just, that sound, I could, I hear that in my dreams sometimes. I just love it. Okay guys, without any further delay, I'm not gonna waste your time because I could just stare at this all fucking night and hope and wish for the best. But let's see what it is when I flip it. Oh no guys, what is it gonna be? Small forward, Dr. J! Woo! Woo! That's exactly what we wanted. Oh my gosh, that's a W. That's the second best card only to Glenn Rice. That's a fucking big W, that's a huge W. W's all up in the fucking comments. Thanks guys, and if you like what you see, please click like, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and let me know what you got out of that Stratosphere Plus pack. Peace out 2K community, I do this for the 2K culture. Sheesh. And for some bonus content, Loski, what did you think? That was amazing. That was amazing. W's in the house, son, W's in the house. <laughs> Thanks, Los. You... Yep. He gave me some of that low ski luck, low ski luck, low ski luck. Win, baby. That was a W, that was a win. Okay guys, let's see what my lineup is looking like. As you can see, my starting lineup consists of Dark Matter, SGA, Opal Kobe, Dark Matter, Carmelo Anthony, Opal Chet, and Dark Matter Wemby. And off the bench, I still been rocking with Opal Penny, Dark Matter Clyde Drexler, Dark Matter Vince Carter, who's been great. That card has been elite, I love that card. The same thing with Opal Kareem, the same thing with Opal Akeem Olajuwon and Opal David Robinson. I have to admit, Dark Matter Russell Westbrook did kind of disappoint me a little bit, kind of let me down. He didn't come through for a game-winning shot the other day, and if it was, if I would have gave that ball to Vince Carter, I would have sunk that game-winning three. And the Dark Matter Jason Tatum, he was a great card, so was the Opal Jason Tatum. But I want to say this Dark Matter Jason Tatum wasn't much better. It wasn't that much better. It wasn't like a significant, huge difference. He was great, and I did like getting him. And he has come through for me a few times. But he, I just felt like he just didn't do enough for me. Like, it, it just... The card just didn't play um, up to his potential. Just, he's 6'8", but he doesn't feel or run like he's 6'8". And he's not the best at slashing towards the hoop or dunking over people. He is great for... um three-point shooting, don't get me wrong, his jump shot is one of the smoothest in the game. He's definitely come through for some shots that tie up the game or game-winning shots for me, and that C-Web has been epic and elite. That, that, that C-Web is definitely um, a big-time card that you should have in your rotation. So it's time to replace Jason Tatum, and let's welcome Dr. J, not only home, but let's welcome to the squad. Oh my God, that, that lineup, that team is going to be huge. And I'm not sure if I'm going to move Vince to the reserves. You know what? I've been playing with Vince for a while now, and um, no, I, I can't say that I'm, oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm gonna have to, um, I'm gonna say for now, I'm gonna replace Dr. J. Do I move Dr. J out of the reserves and make him come off the bench for Carmelo Anthony, or do I keep Vince at the three? I've been playing with Vince at the three for a while now, and his three-point shot is butter. I love it, it's super smooth. He's super clutch, he always comes through for me, but I do wanna check out Dr. J and see how he plays. So I'm gonna move Dr. J to Vince's spot and put Vince in the reserves. That's my new team, guys.
Welcome home, Dr. J. You're a part of the squad.